Hey guys, we are doing a pink look today. Of course, we're gonna prep the skin first with some skin therapy and my favorite one drop wonder, getting it all over your face and your neck. And then I'm just going in with a really light foundation. I normally don't do foundation first, but because this look is a little bit dramatic, I felt like I needed more of a canvas. So just color correcting, getting a little bit of highlight around my eyes, and then I'm going in with one very light coat of my foundation that's a little bit darker. You notice it made my skin a little bit darker, but it's because it matches my shoulders. Now I'm just prepping my eyelids with some concealer, making sure I get underneath as well, and then going in with the translucent powder right over it, just so that everything is blended out and it's gonna help my eyeshadows just go on so smooth. So I'm starting out in the crease with this really bright pink color taking it into the corners a little bit and just kind of blending it out. Now I'm fair warning, <laughs> it's not going to look the prettiest as we go along, but you'll start to see that it will blend out. So don't worry. If you feel like it's not looking really good, you can fix it. Just try not to put too much product because sometimes when you put a ton, it's harder to blend out. Now here you're seeing I'm taking a brighter and more bold pink right into the corners and I am actually kind of stippling it in with a flatter brush. And see, it looks really messy, but I took this blush color and just trying to blend it in and transition the color into the brow bone. Here's a really pretty rosy pink. It's a shimmer color right onto the lid. It has a little bit of a purple hue. And then I'm gonna warm it up a bit with this one right into the center of the lid so that it helps to not have such a harsh line from the darker color to that purpley pink. And then I thought I wanted to warm it up a bit, so I'm taking brown instead of a black color right onto the outer corners so that you can just kind of lift the eye a little bit. And of course, blending it out. Blend, blend, blend. That's the best thing you can do as you do your eyeshadow. And then some more pink into the creases. And you'll see, I will just continue to layer and layer until it comes out to be the way that I want it. So I'm just highlighting right under the brow with a little bit of a lighter color and then a really light shimmer into the corners. Now that's gonna pop your eyes a lot because that is the darkest part of your eyes. So when you go into the corners like that, it really helps to lighten your eyes up. And then I'm taking that same color right into the brow bone and then just blending it down into the color. And here I'm taking the black eyeliner into my waterline. I normally don't wear my eyeliner like this, but for this look I wanted to do it and then just smudging it out a little bit along the lash line. And then taking that to the upper lid as well. And you can see here, I'm not gonna be super perfect. And there's a reason for that. It's because I'm gonna smudge it out and I'm really just trying to create a base. I'm putting my lashes over it anyway, and we will do correction later. Get those lashes on, girl. This does everything for making your look look complete. And then I'm just reversing the eyeshadows right down into my bottom lid. So I'm going from light to dark, from the outer corner to the inner corner. Basically the same thing that I did in the upper, just right down onto the bottom lash line. And then I like to connect it from the bottom to the top and huh, figured my lips are chapped, so a little bit of pause there. And this is why I said you don't have to be perfect. I'm taking this, what do you call that? Eyeliner pen? <laughs> anyway, I'm taking this liquid liner and it helps when you have a line there already so that you don't have to make it super perfect. And here you can see I'm just cleaning everything up, blending everything out. And now I'm going in with a flat foundation brush and really getting a good coat of foundation in it. I normally don't wear this much makeup, but I really wanted this look to look a lot more flawless, I guess, and a little bit more airbrush. So I'm putting one more coat and this foundation is so forgiving. It is so buildable and it has a really natural finish in the beginning anyway. So when you put another coat, it doesn't feel heavy and make sure you get your neck and your ears as well. And you can see I'm taking the lighter color foundation right under my eyes. I'm doing the Kim Kardashian triangle. So this helps brighten up your eyes as well. Of course, I'm not doing as much as she does, but I wanted to pull it down 
to be able to create more of a cheekbone. And then you can see I'm just cleaning up the eyeshadow as well. Right over the bridge of the nose, I have a tiny nose, so I always like to make it a little bit pointier. Anytime you put a light color, that's going to create the idea that it's protruding out a little bit more. So same concept here. I'm going right under the hollow of the cheeks so that it looks like my hollows are a little bit more sunken in. And then just blending it out with the blender full. And so now I'm taking the bronzer, going right into the hollows of the cheek, into the temples, right around the hairline. Because again, this is the opposite of the highlight. You wanna create a sunken in look with your bronzer. So of course I'm gonna make my forehead try to look smaller. Right along the jawline, you can take it down into the hollows of your neck. And it looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna fix that. And this is my favorite blush by Lime Life. It's blush number four. It looks so pretty on everyone. It's really natural. But then I thought I need an extra pop, so I went in with pink. Just a little bit, not too much. And again, color correcting, you don't want your face to look super muddy, so make sure it's not going below your cheeks. And then taking that blender full and really just trying to clean up everything, take away the harsh lines. And then I'm going in with some translucent powder into those areas that I put the highlighter. So that's right under the eyes, right under the hollows of the cheek, right down the bridge of the nose. And of course, got to do the brows. Because until then, you look kind of naked. So just some nice wispy hairs. And then I go in with a liquid eyeliner, a brown one, just for some added little hair strokes here and there. These are my favorite glow drops. This is the coconut color. It's not super shimmery, so all you have to do is just dab it on and blend it right in with a blenderful sponge. I gotta tell you, this blenderful sponge, they're not all created equal. That one is so soft, and it just puts everything on perfectly. Now this is some setting powder just to complete the look and blend everything out really nicely. And then I wanted to soften up the brows a little bit because just look extra mad. <laughs> and since my lips are crooked, I like to go in with concealer first and some setting powder on my lips to make my lipstick last a little bit longer. And you'll see I put layer upon layer upon layer and it really is just because I wasn't happy with the color. So all of these colors were just too nude. And so I then I figured, you know what, go opposite, put a little bit of a cool tone in there and I feel like it made the perfect pink. I go into the top lash line on my natural lashes just to blend it into the strips and then of course along the bottom lashes. And then just one last pop right on the lids. Oh wait, my five head. Let's get that smaller. Okay, is this how the YouTubers look? Is that how they do it? Oh no, you gotta speed it up. Oh wait, slow it down, slow it down. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>